Hi, it's a very sad scenario. A multi-billionaire industry of hair transplantation and cosmetic surgeries is leading to death. Yes, it has been very sad and it has truly been documented solely in India. We lost in 2016 Santosh, 22 year old, due to hair transplant in Chennai. 2019, we lost a 43 year old man in Mumbai. 2021, two anaphylaxis post surgery in Gujarat, we lost uh, another person who was 31 years old. And very recently, in 2022, in our capital, in New Delhi, we lost Athar Rashid, who was belonging to media and journalism faculty, only due to hair transplantation. You know, hair transplantation, I'm not bragging, I've done for thousands of people, except for one or two odd cases, all of them have been happy with results, and we have not had a single side effect. The beauty of hair transplantation and the most important necessity for you as a consumer to know is, there has to be a trained dermatologist or a trained plastic surgeon present in the room, present with you all throughout during the surgery. That is the most important basic requirement. If it had happened, we would not have had these deaths documented. Imagine the undocumented de uh, deaths which may have happened. I strongly request the Indian government, it's high time, it's a burning science. It's really the need of the hour to bring out strong rules Hair transplantation as should only be done by a dermatologist or a plastic surgeon who are more trained about the skin anatomy, blood vessels, everything there, the nerves there. Very important, the clinic should have a very nice septic, aseptic room with good uh, precautions. It should be completely sterile. There should be a team along with the doctors to help the doctor. It is not solely possible for a single doctor to do more than 1000 grafts in a single day. It's very important for the consumer to see that all the instruments used are mainly disposable. They are clean. Very important for the consumer to check the degrees of the doctor where the Indian government is bringing out the uh, register, the national register, which will have all the documentation and degrees so that you don't fall prey to a quack. Well, unfortunately, in my field also, like every other profession, Though ours is a very white collar job, we see a lot of people who are only uh, running after money and hence this kind of treatments. And unfortunately, we are losing people to death to a cosmetic treatment. Government must ensure that consumers are able to check the degrees. Government must ensure that only such places are able to conduct hair transplantation. The newspaper advertisements which are in plenty being uh, run by quacks and people who do not have the degrees, they must have a disclaimer. There must be some sort of a government instruction so that the consumer knows where to go. It is a zamana of artificial intelligence. I see a lot of my young patients who bring me, you know, their own photographs with some filter and they want to look like that. They change their nose in their phones, young girls, and they tell me they want a nose like that. So it's like a world where you can see a lot of pre and post of hair transplant, but you cannot believe. So do not fall prey to such advertisements. Do not believe what you're seeing. Do not think if you are as bald as Anupam Kher, you can actually have a whole grown of hair. That will have to be a wig and not a hair transplantation to give a fantastic result if you're completely bald. That was just for an example. So please do not fall prey to wrong advertisements. Please ensure be a correct consumer, be an informed consumer. And today here at Print where I'm running this column with them, it's only for your education. Please feel free to ask us 